Two people are safely back on shore Friday night after needing to be rescued from their 45-foot lobster boat. Friday afternoon, the Coast Guard says the men, one from Maine and one from Portsmouth, were about 17 miles off the shore of York, Maine, when a rogue wave hit their boat. We found the conditions were deteriorating. Uh, we noticed the boat was uh, looking very unstable towards the uh, rear of the boat. When the fishermen sent out a mayday call, a Coast Guard team from Portsmouth jumped on this rescue boat and were led to them through an emergency position indicating radio beacon. It's a little device that they, these guys have on board that if something goes wrong, you know, they flip a switch and almost immediately we know where they're at. The lobster boat was taking on water. When the Coast Guard arrived, they had the men jump off their boat to bring them on board the rescue vessel. They had their full immersion suits on as well as uh, life jackets, which is uh, their these suits are designed pretty much for you to be able to survive in uh, extremely cold water temperatures. Crews worked quickly to reach them. Losing daylight was a major concern. You can't safely navigate a boat, you know, taken on water at night in those kinds of conditions. The men were brought back to the Coast Guard station in Portsmouth unharmed. Rescue crews advise other fishers to make sure their gear is maintained and say that these men followed the proper precautions. They followed all their procedures to a T and did, a, did an outstanding job, really helped uh, make our job a lot easier. This is New England, this is what people do here, but your life is more important than your boat in the end. So, you know, do what you can to take care of yourself and your crew. Well, the boat is still in the water tonight and it's unclear if it'll sink. The Coast Guard, though, is monitoring it through the radio beacon. In Portsmouth, New Hampshire, Mike Cronin, WMTW News 8.